Well, it's out. According to Heal the Bay's annual beach report card, water quality at California beaches declined last year. The organization assigned grades A through F to around 700 beaches along the Pacific coast based on bacteria pollution levels. Mother's Beach in Marina del Rey is amongst the 10 most polluted beaches along the entire west coast. The announcement happened in Santa Monica earlier, and by the way, Santa Monica also on the list. Joe Kwan is in a spot just a few miles north of Mothers in Santa Monica. Uh, Joe, I mean, obviously, when we look out there, it looks pretty, and there's plenty of people, but this report card, kind of tough. Listen, Amra, it does look pretty. As you can see, we're at a crowded beach and it just looks like a beautiful summer day. We are here at the Santa Monica Pier and I don't want to be like a beach Grinch, but sorry to break it to you. This is in that top 10 list of the dirtiest beaches in the whole state. And here's some of the reasons why. summertime, sunshine and waves, but this spot is a bummer according to Heal the Bay's annual beach bummer list. The beach at Santa Monica Pier has been on the list more often than not since at least 2009 and this year. Right directly at the pier, we have a failing grade and that's what has landed it at the number three most polluted site in the West Coast. Environmental group Heal the Bay's Annalisa Mo says the grades are based on water quality testing that's done weekly. And at the end of the year, we look at the entire year of grades and it looks at whether or not bacteria levels are above state limits and also how far above state limits they are. So is it just barely or is it a lot? She says birds may be the blame here. We've already done some uh, source tracking um, with the city of Santa Monica to identify that bird bacteria is in abundance here. Bird droppings. That's why Santa Monica's water utilities manager Sunny Wang says the city has added netting like this under the pier to keep birds from hanging out here. With that project, you know, we were off the beach bummer list for a few years. We were quite excited about that. Off the list most recently between 2018 and 2021, but bummer back on the bummer list two years ago. Part of the blame might also be the actual pier. The pier itself is the largest pier on the West Coast. So part of that, what that means is the water underneath doesn't get a lot of natural UV disinfection. The city has also invested millions of dollars into stormwater and runoff capture projects to divert the water into its water reclamation facility for treatment. So it's a bit puzzling, challenging. We're, we're doing additional efforts to investigate what additional causes are there to impact the water quality here. Bummer or not, beachgoers like Camilla Kamalova says it doesn't look dirty. It's clean enough to stay here for a couple of time. And clean enough for her to even take a dip. There are signs along the sand that advise otherwise. We still want to enjoy the time here. Annalisa says there is hope this beach won't always be a bummer. It was also off the bummer list between 2011 and 2013. So the city has tried a number of different attempts. Unfortunately, none of them have been successful yet. So we just need to try the next thing and the next thing until one of them works. For now, she recommends heading 100 yards north or south of the Santa Monica Pier, where the beaches have earned A's. And signs like these are helping to educate the public, you know, but I can still see at least a couple dozen people in the water. Heal the Bay says it's going to start a task force working with the city to hopefully find a solution to get this beach off that bummer list, Amri. Yeah, folks are working on it. And uh, I know you don't want to be a beach Grinch, but that would be an amazing Halloween costume, Joe Kwan. Consider it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your community, click the subscribe button here. You can also download the Spectrum News app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.